Charlie Simon's greatest hits. On it, 20 classic songs so familiar they feel like old friends. And recently I had the pleasure of sitting down with the icon for a rare interview. I was a little kind of awkward, gawky, stuttering child who was very needy, very insecure, very um, afraid of going away from home, had tremendous trepidations about leaving my mother especially. I had such a bad stammer that I really couldn't talk and it would come out very, it was like that. Do you remember kids making fun of you because of your stammer? Oh, yes. I remember at one point in fourth grade, the kids all decided that I smelled and and it got around from one kid to another. It was because they couldn't really say that I stammered or I stuttered. So it, it, it translated into there's something wrong with her. She smells. Oh, how awful. And there was one girl, Rondi, who came up to me one day and whispered to me, you don't smell. And that also caught fire. And then another girl said, you know, you don't smell a little bit louder. You don't smell. You don't smell. You don't smell. You don't smell. You know, so there was it. It caught on. Things do catch on like that. And so I realized that things can catch on in a positive way, too. This positive attitude has gotten Carly through some very tough times. The bitter and highly publicized divorce from her husband of over 10 years, singer James Taylor. Her frequent bouts with anxiety and depression. And most recently, her battle with breast cancer. You came through a tough period when you were diagnosed with breast cancer. What got you through that? I put my head down on the table, still with the phone in my hand, saying, this can't be, this just can't be true. It's impossible. I would say what got me through that period was, was my own little chaps. My own little chaps who mobilized inside my body and brain. And together we were like little marching soldiers saying, you know, we're going to find a way through this. Were you afraid of dying? Yes, but no more so than I usually am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm really the kind of person who's just as filled with fears as I am with joys, which is, which is one of the things that thankfully is not coming across too much in this interview, but I am a fearful person. That was when you sit with this musical legend, you can't emotion. help but be surprised so by her sense of humor. It comes through when she talks about sad times and happy times, but also when she's trying to avoid answering the question that every fan wants to know. Who is so vain? You walked into the party. There is still so much mystery about who inspired the song, You're So Vain. Are you amazed by the level of interest in that question? Yes, I'm amazed by it. And the only real thing that's mysterious is why it's still so interesting. Long ago, though, you once admitted that it could potentially be a composite of a number of men who were dear to you in your life, whether it was Mick Jagger, Warren Beatty, maybe even a little bit of James Taylor in there. Well, I, I guess, you know, I mean, those who are interested in clues, the name of the person it was about had an E in it. Oh, well, thank you. That's, that's very helpful, Carly. Maybe I could disclose another letter. That would be James Taylor, Mick Jagger, and Warren Beatty. Okay, we've got the same three in the pot. Let's see, it also has... Well, she does eventually give us one other letter. You can see more from my conversation with Carly Simon this weekend on CNN. Tune in Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern for people.